welcome back guys now it's the time to explore our last session on selenium framework design and this is on extent reports so what are extent reports extent reports are something that are uh, graphical in nature they give the output in the form of pretty charts beautiful charts pie charts and they also give the data along with the charts these reports have been designed by anshu arora so you can download them from extent report website and now let's have a look at the code that i have created so i have created a class called extent report listener which implements i reporter i reporter is coming from test ng then i have created a extent reports object called extent then there is this method generate report which takes in an xml suite list list of xml suites and another it takes in a list of suites just the suites uh, so uh, the first uh, the first uh, parameter takes in a list of xml suites the second parameter takes in a list of xml not xml but suites i suites and the last parameter takes in the output directory so in this uh, method i have create i have assigned the extent object that i have created here i have instantiated it to a new extent report method and in this extent report method i have provided output directory output directory is nothing but your string that you will be passing in plus file dot separated this is a uh, systems uh, ready made utility that uh, java has provided us and plus i am putting in the name of the extent report and i am putting it true here so every time it will uh, override the report next i am iterating through the suites here and i am uh, taking one suite at a time i am taking one suite at a time and i am taking the values from that suite one suite at a time i am taking the get results from that suite and i am uh, passing the get results to this uh, map which which is uh, generic uh, which is a generic in map uh, which is a generic in nature and it has string and i re suite result as a generic parameters next is the for loop here i am uh, taking a i suite result variable called r and i am iterating through test result dot values for every iteration i am creating a test context object and i uh, which is of type i test context context and i am taking the r dot get test context and every time it is building the nodes so what it uh, it is doing it is taking whether the test is passed then it will take the test context dot get pass test if it is failed it will take the get failed test and if it has skipped then it will take the uh, skip test and it will update the log status as shown here log status dot pass log status dot fail and log status dot skip after after this iteration it will flush the extent data to the extent report and it will close the extent report next comes my build test nodes so what is this doing it is taking a i result map parameter and log status parameter and inside that i have defined the extent test object again so this uh, will iterate through the test dot size how many tests are there and then it will um, take the i test result uh, i test result has been created above so uh, it will take uh, this uh, result parameter of type i test result and it will iterate till it gets all the results from test test is nothing but our i result map then here i am starting the test extend dot start test and i am getting that result dot get method so which method uh, i am uh, data i am taking i will get the method and get method name will return me the name next i am starting i am uh, initiating the test started time i am initiating the test uh, ended time and this all is coming from the result variable result variable is of type i test result next i am taking one more for loop inside this for loop and this uh, is iterating through a string variable uh, uh, it has a string variable and it is iterating through uh, result dot get method dot get group so if it has any groups then it will assign 
uh, that category test dot assign category it will invoke and it will pass the group as the parameter so this is a inbuilt method test uh, which is getting invoked on test what is test test is nothing but our uh, here we have initiated the extend test dot start test this is nothing but our extend test object and here we are assigning the category as group next uh, if result dot get rowable is equal to not equal to null then test dot log i am uh, checking the status and i am uh, putting the result dot get rowable into the status and i am uh, last i am taking a else block in that else block i have put test dot log and i have put status comma test has status dot to string dot to lower case so it will automatically take the status what is the status pass fail or skip and it will append ed to it if it turns this into lower case it will automatically appear as if a user has typed into that result so it will not appear all capital cases but it it will appear as small cases and this get time method uh, if if you see get time is here and this get time has been declared over here so it is nothing but it has declared a calendar object and uh, i am invoking the static method get instance on this calendar so calendar dot set time in millis and i am passing the millis over here i am uh, just uh, taking this millis from here so result dot get start millis uh, so result dot get start millis will return me this millis uh, millis uh, variable data in this millis variable and then i am uh, putting it into set time in millis uh, method as a parameter uh, finally i am returning the calendar dot get time so uh, this you will have to see a couple of times to get used to it and this is a pretty standard uh, a standard method of generating reports so instead of invoking the reporting mechanism uh, time and again you just invoke it at the end of test after collating all the results so this is all i will post this code on github or in my youtube tutorial and you can go through it so let's uh, run this and we will see what output we get so our test is here let's open our test ng xml test ng xml is here as we know we have two tests basic test and second test and to invoke the listener listener class since it is implement as uh, extending i reporter we have to add this listener so whenever our tests end it will invoke this listener so this listeners will include a listener tag and it has a class hyphen name which will have the name the fully qualified name of your report listener class so hr demo app dot extent report listener is our fully qualified name for the extent report listener class you don't forget to close the closing tags so let's run this and we will see how we get the output right click run as test ng suite it is initiating the browser opening the browser now yeah logs in there you go logged in it will click on the admin link now clicks user management users add button yep enters data there you go save button go add button save yes add save that's the end of the test next test test is starting where we are editing the username password login yeah enters data okay save enters data save okay third enters data save 
this is a remnant of my earlier test so you are uh, if you are counting then you will get more numbers here so if you clean up the text file you will not get the extra things you will get only three records you can add the logic of deleting the result file and you can regenerate the result file every time so this this is all old data that is coming in there you go it has completed the test now let's see whether we have our report created or not so our report will get created where it will get created let's search for our report because rather than spending time in finding the report I will just search it over here. Extent. There you go. Extent report. So right click on it. Open with. As you know, Chrome is the fa fastest browser. So here you go. There you go. So our add users, if you notice, has been called thrice. This is because we have uh, put the data provider, and data provider is providing us three sets of data. Three sets of data corresponds to three methods. Whereas in open users, you only see two times call because one time it has been called for generating the users, the second time it has been called for um, when it, when it reads the text data for every text file data, and two times it has logged in. So uh, that at uh, that provides us all the data. If you go to each and every test case, then it has passed. If you go to the dashboard, here is a very beautiful dashboard that you will see seven tests passed and it is 100% passed per percentage. You might be wondering, uh, we ran it, but we got for we created three users and we got uh, more than three users for editing. So let me clean up the data and we will try again. So our users text file is here. You can put uh, code for cleaning up the user's file or deleting and creating one every time you run this test. I save it. Let's run our test once more in order to show you how it actually behaves. It will create all three sets of data and it will edit it. Adding the data. Adding another data. Adding third data. That's it. Second test case is triggered. Adding data, logging in, not adding data, logging in. User management, users, searches for data, clicks on data, edits it, saves it. Yeah, add the second data, edits it saves it and the third data edits it saves it that's all so it has run without any errors let's have a look at the extent report there you go so we have how many tests let's have a look seven tests have passed seven steps have passed and we get a green signal from selenium from extent report pass percentage is 100 percent if you go here you will see that all this data is in a consolidated form what was the start time what was the end time total time taken total time taken overall and in the current run so these are the total tests total steps what java version and these are all the environment variables what host was used etc etc 
and this gives a overall picture add users was called uh, thrice since there were three users open users was called twice since we only invoked open users twice in the open users we had a for loop so that is not accounted for here if you want the for loop data to come here you will have to put your code inside the for loop like extend dot log and then you will have to put the relevant code over there Lo login to application is called twice so that's all guys as far as extend report is concerned and this is the end of our tutorial as far as reporting is concerned but i have one more tutorial on the plate that is logging using log4j that we will see in the next tutorial thank you